Hey guys, what is up? It's Card Shuffler 99 here today. I'm just going to show you a pretty cool trick that Matt Franco performed a little while ago. So, first of all, make sure to check out our Instagram, Card Shuffler underscore 99, our Twitter, Card Shuffler 99, and our Gmail is Card Shuffler 99 at gmail.com. If you have any trick ideas, tips, or, you know, maybe a collab here and there, but you never know. So, uh, you can email us there. Also, hit that like button, subscribe button, and that notification button, which is the bell. So the second we post, you guys will get a notification, and you can check us out right away. Anyways, let's get into the trick. All right, guys. So before we get started here, I just want to give credit to a million card tricks uh, for this tutorial, basically, because I actually did not find this trick by myself. I actually saw his tutorial for it, and then I went to watch the trick. So credit to him. Uh, we can't really take too much of the, the credits here, but... Uh, yeah, once again, be sure to check out his channel. You can subscribe to him, A Million Card Tricks. Uh, and anyway, let's get straight into I'll do a quick performance of it, and uh, yeah, we'll get straight into it. So this is a pretty cool trick that he performed. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get the uh, the four aces, so the ace of spades. There's the ace of hearts, the ace of clubs, and where is it? There it is, the ace of diamonds. Okay, so we're going to use the aid of the four aces today. Um, Robert. What what you you do like the aces? I like the aces. I like the aces. All right. I mean, yeah. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna kind of lay these out here, okay? Just like that. And what I want, we're going to basically try to get a bunch of random cards, okay, onto the aces here, okay? okay. So we can do this really any way we want, um, but it really doesn't matter how this is done, okay? So what I'm gonna do here, we'll just take these three random cards here, sit that there, and go ahead and cover that. Okay. With my hand? Yeah, just cover it with your hand for now. Okay. And here we can keep shuffling the pack here. And I want to show you guys that we are actually getting three random cards every single time here. We'll keep cutting the pack here just to prove that this is actually random. Uh, we'll take this one. Why don't we take these two here? It doesn't really matter. These cards are 100% random. And we'll get to the last three here. We'll take these three cards right there. And the rest of the deck is basically useless to us at this point. Uh, we just need these cards right here. Okay. So, we're going to be playing around with the Ace of Diamonds, the Ace of Clubs, and the Ace of Hearts. Okay? So... Really quick, like I said, all the cards, okay, are going to be completely different here. So what we'll do is we'll take the Ace of Diamonds, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something a little fun with the Ace of Diamonds, okay? So check this out. All the cards, 100% different, okay? But if I just give the Ace of uh, Diamonds a quick flick, we can actually get it to completely disappear, okay? So just like that, we got one of the Aces to jump away. So now let's play around here with the Ace of Clubs, okay? So here we'll take the Ace of Clubs, check this out. And this is what we're going to do with the Ace of Clubs. We're going to do something somewhat similar here. Check this out. All the cards are completely different. But not only that, the Ace will actually disappear as well. Okay? So we're actually getting the Aces to kind of jump around here. We're playing around with the Aces a little bit. And we'll keep going here. So, again, all the cards are completely different. Right, Rob? Yeah. 100% different. We'll take the Ace of Hearts now. Let's see if we can play around with the Ace of Hearts as well. Like I said, all the cards are different. And now the Ace of Hearts actually disappears as well. Now you remember, you got to put your hand over the Ace of Spades. I put three random cards down onto the Ace of Spades from the beginning of the trick, okay? Yeah. Now remember, you got to cover it before I even you know, did anything with the, the Aces here. Go ahead and lift up your hand. And we'll see here, you can always, you go ahead yourself, take a look, we have the Ace of Spades. Yes. And go ahead and take a look, the three random cards are actually the other Aces. They actually teleported from these packets here disappeared and actually reappeared with the ace of spades so that is the trick guys and anyway let's get straight into the tutorial so like i said credit to this goes out to uh a million card tricks uh so be sure to check him out uh as well so for this trick you're going to need a couple things uh the first thing you're going to need is some double face cards now these are going to be double face cards with the aces okay so these aren't going to be um double backers these are double face cards and you're actually, if you don't have any double face cards, what you can use is um, some double-sided tape. So, Robert, can you show us some double-sided tape? Oh, yeah. Right here, guys. You can always use that. Yep. So what you can, if you have a bunch of duplicates, so this is if you don't have double face cards with the aces, you can grab some double-sided tape. Make sure you have duplicate uh, aces for all of them, except for one, which in this case, you the ace of spades, you only, you only need one ace of spades. Um... But if you're going to use duplicates and tape them together, just grab some tape and tape the cards together. 
So basically all I have here are double faced aces and on the back of the aces are just random cards and the other aces are just normal backed cards, okay? So here we have aces with random cards on the back and here we just have four random aces. Now, like I said, I only have one ace of spades for the trick and you don't need any more than that. Now you can pick any of the aces to only have one of, it really doesn't matter as you go through the trick. So now that we have that out of the way, um, this is what we're going to do. We are going to, I'm going to explain to you guys the setup, okay? So, this is basically how the trick is performed. It's going to use these double face cards throughout most of the trick, okay? So, all you're going to need to do is you're going to grab the ace of spades. Now, this is a normal ace of spades, okay? You're going to take this, put it somewhere near the bottom, okay? And then the rest of the aces can just go throughout the deck as well. And remember, the aces are going to be face um, face up here, okay? So the aces are going in face up throughout the pack, just like that, okay? Now, obviously, if you spread through face down, uh, it's going to be exposed. But like I said, the ace of spades is a normal card, okay? The rest of them are double face cards. And these three aces here are actually going to go on top. So this is a deck that cannot be examined, okay? Um, basically, what you're going to need to do here is make sure you can actually spread the deck face up. But you can't spread to the top, obviously, because you're going to have three aces there. And these are normal aces. Okay? So, this is how you're going to start the trick. Um, you're basically, you can start face up. You can spread through the deck. And what you're going to do here is you're going to take out the four aces. So, you can start with the ace of spades, the ace of diamonds, ace of clubs, ace of hearts. It doesn't matter what order these are in. Uh, make sure you be careful not to spread to the top and expose these aces here. Okay? All right, perfect. So, now you have these aces here. What you're going to do is you're going to say that you're going to take uh, three random cards and you're going to set it onto the packets. Now, obviously, you have the three aces on top here. Now, you don't have to do, like, shuffles or anything. You just immediately set them down if you really want to. But obviously, uh, you, when you do a riffle shuffle, you need to be cautious that you have those three cards remaining on top. Now, you can do, like, false shuffles or whatever. You can do anything you want to do. Just make sure... Um, the three aces remain on the top of the deck, okay? So, like I said, you can do false shuffles. Um, you can honestly, if you wanted to, you could do like this, the overhand shuffle control where you basically just control the card back to the top of the pack. And just like that, you still have all the cards. And basically all you're gonna do is on top of the ace of spades, now this is on top of the normal card. You're gonna take the top three cards and you're gonna set that down. You're gonna ask someone to put their hand over that, okay? Now they cannot, um, they're not, yeah. Go ahead, put the box over. They cannot actually look um, at these cards, obviously, because they're aces. So you're going to set that there. Now, from here, I like to play around with this packet. You can shuffle this as much as you want. You can have the spectator shuffle this. At this point, everything is no longer gimmicked. Um, so you can go ahead. You can shuffle it. You can ask them to pick the cards if you want to. That's always fine as well. Because these are truly three random cards going onto each of the packets. So be as interactive as you can. You could ask people to name random cards, and you could just set them down onto the packets just like that, okay? Now, the rest of the deck can basically go away at this point, okay? So this deck is basically done. Throw that away. And now you're just left with these three random cards, and you can feel free to show them the cards as you set them down as well. That's always fine, because uh, they are random cards. Now, be careful. I like to bring the aces to the top here or whatever. Um, just be careful not to flash the card on the back, okay? So... There's basically one move that you're going to have to do throughout this, um, and it's very simple. What you're going to do is you're going to start with the ace here, okay? Take the ace off, flip the rest over. That's all you have to do, okay? And all I do, because obviously you can't flash this, I spread through and I say all the cards are different, obviously, right? And as I bring everything together, all I did was get a break underneath the jack, okay? So all I did here was I, did, I spread through like that, and I just got a quick break, and I set the ace of diamonds on top, and I flip it over. Now, obviously, yes, you are going to be flashing that the card has changed there, kind of, because they're not looking, they're no longer looking at a jack. But try not to make it obvious, obviously. I mean, what you could easily do, um, I didn't realize I had a duplicate there, but what you can do here is you can actually set the ace on top, and as you flip it over, you can honestly turn your hand a little bit uh, if you really wanted to, but try not to flash that the ace is kind of disappearing or whatever. Um, so really, all you have to do here okay uh, my bad is you have the ace here get a break do your double lift and at this point all that did was it just flipped the ace over you can spread through you can show all the cards have disappeared 
and the ace has disappeared. Now, my bad, I didn't realize I would have a duplicate there. And you just do this throughout the entire pack. So you spread through, okay, grab your break, and you do your double lift. Now, be cautious when you're doing your double lifts. Uh, try not to flash too much. Now, obviously, if you wanted to, you could, you know, methodically pick out the cards. That way, maybe if you have a duplicate or whatever, you can methodically pick it out so they, it, you know, nothing would really flash. But you can just come here, you just flip it over, and basically every single time the ace is going to disappear. Once again, spread through, grab your break, flip over the ace, and you can show the ace has disappeared every time. And not only that, all the aces will actually appear with the ace of spades. So that is the trick, guys. It's a pretty cool Matt Franco card trick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And this is Card Shuffler 99. Once again, credit to a million card tricks. Peace out.